In this video we are celebrating a week of Specky, hosted by my retro tech, and I thought it's time I revisited the Sinclair Spectrum, but this time I have chosen random arcade ports. Now the Spectrum had some cracking arcade ports back in the day, and I've also looked at some remasters too. So let's take a look and see what games I picked. Chase HQ. This was released in 1989 and published by Ocean. Now I love Chase HQ because I was a big fan of it in the arcade back in the day. So when I first played the Spectrum version I was amazed how good it is. It's got great sound, it's got great sense of speed and the gameplay handling is great too. You must be happy if you got this for your Spectrum back in the day. Next we have Ghosts and Goblins. This was released in 1986 and published by Elite Systems. Now Ghosts and Goblins as you all well know is an arcade classic and I remember playing this on my friend Spectrum back in the day and it's a great port too. It's very fast, it's got a very good handling in the game as well, yeah and also it's very challenging just like all the other ports including the arcade version. Great game. Bubble Bobble, released in 1987 and this was published by Firebird Software. Now Bubble Bobble is another arcade classic and it was ported to many different systems back in the day and still is to this day. And the Spectrum port is a great one. It's got the in-game music, it's got two players, the graphics are nice, it's got great gameplay as well. Yeah, who doesn't like Bubble Bobble? An absolute all-time classic. Rampage, released in 1987-88 and published by Activision. Now Rampage is a great game. It's fun in one player, but it's even better in multiplayer. Because you can have up to three players apparently in this game. Me and my son played it recently and it was great fun. We was on it for hours. If you haven't played this one on the Spectrum, you certainly need to fire this one up. Outrun, released in 1987 and this was published by US Gold. Now the only version of Outrun I played on Spectrum is the disc version and that's on the Spectrum Plus 3 and that's the only time I've ever seen that computer because it was all my friends else back in the day. But this is a great game. It looks like the arcade and it plays like it too. It's got great music, it's got great graphics as well. Rainbow Islands. This was released in 1990 and published by Ocean Software. Now Rainbow Islands is one of my all time favourite arcade games because I had it on the Commodore 64 and the Amiga. But only recently I played the Sinclair Spectrum version and god what a port this is. It's got the in game music, it's a very fast paced game too, it's got lovely graphics, yeah. Rainbow Islands is definitely a game you need to play on this system. Robocop, released in 1988 and published by Ocean. Now Robocop is a prime example of 8-bit home computer rivalry in the schoolyard back in the day. Because we all used to argue over which port was best. The Commodore 64, the Spectrum or the Amstrad. And it used to go on and on. In fact, the battle still continues to this day. But I gotta be honest with you, this Spectrum port is amazing. It's got great music, great graphics, and great gameplay too. And it feels like the arcade as well. Paperboy, released in 1986. And this was published by Elite Systems. Now Paperboy is another old time arcade classic. And the Sinclair Spectrum home port is a great one too. It'll run very smoothly. It's got great gameplay, great sounds. And it's challenging just like the arcade. Renegade. 
released in 1987, and this was published by Imagine Software. Now Renegade is a great fighting game on the 8-bit systems, especially the Sinclair Spectrum. It's a great game, it's got great action in it all the way through, the music's fabulous as well, and on top of that, it's very challenging, just like the arcade equivalent. Next we have Commando, and this was released in 1985, and it was published by Elite Systems. This top-down shooter is a classic, and it's a great game too. It does lack in-game music on the Spectrum version, but once you get into it, you don't even notice, because this game is just full of action right through. Very difficult on times, but yeah, you got to try this one out if you never played it on a Sinclair before. Midnight Resistance. This was released in 1990 and this was published by Ocean Software. Now Midnight Resistance is another one of those great arcade games I used to play a lot back in the day and I owned it on my Commodore 64 and Amiga. But I never played the Sinclair Spectrum one until now. And it's a great game. I spent a good hour or so playing this one. It's got great music, it's got great graphics and the gameplay is awesome as well. If you haven't played the Spectrum version, I certainly recommend you do so. He Ya Kung Fu And this was released in 1985 and published by Imagine Software. Now He Ya Kung Fu is an absolute classic arcade game because back in the day Kung Fu games and films were all the rage and the Spectrum one is a great port too. It's the closest you're going to get for an 8-bit game, and plus on top of that, it's all in there. The game itself is challenging, just like its arcade equivalent, but yeah, I was a fun and enjoyment in this one. Bomb Jack, released in 1986, and this was published by Elite Systems. You control Jack, and your goal in this is to clear all the bombs off each level. But the only issue you've got is, you must do it while avoiding enemies at the same time. This is a crack import from the arcade to the Sinclair Spectrum. Green Beret, released in 1986 and published by Imagine Software. Now Green Beret is two versions. Is the obvious Green Beret, then is Russian Attack. Apparently both games are slightly different, but you've got four key missions to complete. It's a challenging game, just like the arcade, but it's got great sounds, great music, and awesome gameplay too. Now we're going to take a look at some remastered Spectrum games. And the first one up is Mr. Kung Fu, and this was released in 2018 and published by Uprising Games. Now Mr. Kung Fu is a remaster of the original Kung Fu Master and it's a vast improvement from the original. Apparently the original game wasn't that great, but this is certainly made up for it. It's got great music, it's got great gameplay, great graphics and everything else. If you haven't played this version of the game, you certainly need to do so. R-Type, 128k, and this was released in 2019. Now this is a modded version of the original 1988 release. Now the 1988 release only had support for the 48k Spectrum and it wasn't available for the 128k and because of that they didn't put in the game music. Well until now because in 2019 Good Boy and T-Ball got together and they ported the MSX port music over to the Spectrum and they done a great job too. This game was already perfect anyway. But obviously with the game music missing, it was lacking a bit of atmosphere. But god, if you haven't played it now, you certainly need to play it. I'd like to say thank you to my Retro Tech for hosting a week of Sparky, and I'll catch you all again soon.